Hi, my people. It's your boy Ty Too High. It's your boy Big Moolah. It's Scotty Too High. And, and we, we are, are the Culture, Culture Crew. Crew. On this episode, we're talking Russia invading Ukraine, Little Dirk and uh, NBA young boy beef, Michigan basketball coach Jawan Howard gets suspended for slapping the opposing team's coach, Kim Potter being sentenced to two years for killing. <sighs> this shit is crazy. Another black man. In facts. The three remaining officers in George Floyd case found guilty on violating his civil rights. YNW, Melly Child starts soon. R. Kelly switching his legal team to Bill Cosby, the Tindler Swindler. <clears throat> talking to Queen catching COVID. Before y'all do anything, make sure y'all hit that notification bell at the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We need like, those. Comment and subscribe. Baby. Hey! First topic we got for y'all is Russia invading Ukraine. Mother Russia! Vladimir Putin. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that shit is wicked. We Basically, think- Vladimir Putin spreading out lies, saying that he felt like his people was being bullied and all of this and all of that, and he felt like they were doing genocide, which hasn't been proven. You want to know the real bullshit he did, though? What's that? He sent them troops over there telling them they was going there for training. They yeah, he had them outside around along the border. Training training the war. Yeah. Yeah. That fucking model Russia, man. Yeah, I think that shit is wicked. Just when you feel like it's time to be the country. Yeah. You and the thing is, usually like, you know, you hear the threats all the time about, oh, we're gonna go to war with this person, this person. They don't actually do it. It's like, yeah, yo, you're not you supposed to I mean? go. I mean, the motherfuckers It's a live, bluff. They live on the next block from each other. That Russia is. wasn't with it. They say, yo, it's twenty twenty two, we coming in hot. Facts. And your boy Joe Biden. That is about it. I have half. This is one of my notes I put down. Basically, he want his goal is to Unite militarize the country, them, and as he says, denazification. Why well, he think it's still Nazis over there? Basically, like the, you know how Nazi got that mentality of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's what was it a communist? Which has it's not, not been communist? proven true yet. But I thought, I, yeah, I think Russia, 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 Russians are communists though. I think yeah, when he said, was, I think he said when he said a Nazi joint, he mean like you know the the. Like they've been telling now, like now why did they're Russia, his yeah, people. Yeah. Why did Russia attack uh Ukraine? Because um That's what I'm saying. This is they were all they were all one country. It was like and then they got divided into mass they got smaller independent. Sub countries. Yeah, right. and, then, and then they said that uh Ukraine was looking because they they're like what, thirty years old now. From what I was reading, uh it was uh before President Solinsky, uh, that's the president of Ukraine. Wasn't, it was a like Russian the, um, president, I but they got him out of there. Oh, Zelensky? Yeah. I didn't read that. But yeah, there was their own country. To, they're, they're brand new. Trying to get money with the, the East now because the West, Russia was tripping. Yeah. And Russia wasn't trying to have it. And I heard they, was trying to, they were trying to join NATO. Yeah. Ukraine was trying to yeah. get down with NATO. And Russia's like, no, you guys are a part of us. Before and we yeah. not having it. Yeah, he feel like because they were um originally one country and shit like that, like you still basically owe loyalty to us. Yeah. And by you trying to do that, now it's we gonna take this shit back by force. I just think Putin is very power hungry. Uh I think so too. I think that's why him and Donald Trump probably got along so well. Which right now we can use that man before they blow us up over there. Listen, cause <laughs> Well, Bring them back. And we need them gas prices back. Because them yeah. shit's about to... Oh, that's another thing. <clears throat> USA has frozen. Uh, They put sanctions on them, so they yeah. froze over $2 billion of their assets. Yeah, so you already know which is like, nothing coming They don't over care here. about their money that's here. They got banks in Russia with probably more money than that. What the fuck, Mother Russia? Seriously. So y'all know everything about to go. So listen, man. If you see fireworks before July, just know. Yeah, they, just know what they seriously. There ain't no fireworks. Yeah, you better you better duck and cover. Next for the people is this crazy ass beef between Lil Durk and uh, I did not NBA know Young nothing Boy. about OTF. You heard? I don't know nothing about that. 
But I do know I'm rolling with Lil Dirt. Well, I'll let you know what's going on. The whole shit. I fuck both of them. The whole shit stems from uh, NBA Youngboy Man, Quando Rondo killing King Vaughn. And, um, mm. yeah, okay, and so that's where it's coming from. Yeah. So they found, so, so, I mean, it's on video. They know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Boy just did So that was NBA Youngboy's man. Yeah, he signed to him. Quando Rondo is signed to him. And the little Tim nigga is like Quando Rondo peoples, but they all run together. And, um, yeah, you know, people like the diss people and shit like that. So NBA, NBA Youngboy dropped the diss song probably like a week, week two weeks ago. And he pretty much shot at a lot of people. Shot at a little dirt. Which you Do we mean? have audio of the yeah, diss song, baby? Yeah, I think it was Benali Chopper. Do we he have audio? Dirk's uh, girlfriend, India. Yeah, he came at everybody that really, um, anybody that he see fucking New with ski. Dirk like that. My and eye. then NBA came back. And dropped another song. In like two, three hours. Oh, word? Facts. Yeah. And his shit got more views than Lil Dirk shit. His, his, his um, shit wins. I think his shit was like... 2.2 in a day. And nah, Dirk I think it was like 2.2 in like a few hours. Whatever the fuck it was. No, he trying, he trying to downplay it because clearly he's Team Dirk. OTF. That nigga had Yo, like comment down, comment down like below what hours. team y'all are. Because I'm Team Dirk. In, uh, what, two days? I'm Team I mean, Dirk. I'm, I'm a fan of both. Listen, NBA Youngboy is, young is nice. NBA Young Boy yeah, is nice. I like yeah, both right. of them. That's what I'm saying. I fuck with both of them. I think NBA Young Boy, like when it comes to business wise, his I think his numbers is one uh, stronger. I think he's more income is most likely coming his way right now than it is coming. Yeah, because Dirk, Dirk's well, way yeah, off of this Dirk, shit. You know, Dirk been you know in it for a while. Dirk has know, a but, Dirk has more of a street following. NBA Young Boy has like a cult following, like how Juice a cult street following them. though. Yeah, but you know it's yeah. also it's also the white girls that love him and, and, all that and shit. NBA they like him younger. He, he younger. Yeah, he hot. All the young little rappers is out right now. Hot. Well, listen, Dirk, because really Dirkio is he's Dirk go to he's a. Bro, he was like, when I was like in like well, 11th grade, Dirk he was out. Goated, though. I'm not saying I'm against it. I, I don't like think Dirk nah, go, Dirk's, saying, Dirk's nah, goaded on the street. When I, when I say that, I mean for like the newer generation of rappers. I don't mean like, you know what I mean? Yeah, Dirk like a, Dirk like a, Dirk, Dirk goaded. Honestly, to me, Dirk is like a pioneer. I wouldn't say, I, I'd say, i say NBA Youngboy is too. Because signed yeah, to the you know streets. Yeah, this is my shit. It's two, three. From back what? in the day. Now, I'm talking about one. Sign to the streets one hundred rounds. The street shit I want in that. Hello? I was put <laughs> on top of what a right. I got Fred on here. We see your camera. camera. Putting duffel bags of work in the fan. The fan. Yeah, the, the fan. The can can. Hello? Who, Who is, is this? this? What? Uh, That's what I'm saying. OTS. Yeah, babe. I don't know, but I be, I Hopefully, mean, it don't end up in like nobody dying and no shit like yeah. that. Cause we definitely don't want that to happen. We just and, want a few. And y'all know y'all was, bu- you know yeah, I mean? and y'all know y'all was bumping gas and mud, bang Come bros, 13, 14. That's a fact. But yeah, also, also, so also, y'all better be team. Also, dirt. real shit. Don't forget these people don't know y'all shit. Don't, don't be really getting no yeah, motherfucking beast behind. Arguing with like, people on social media. On, it's okay. It's okay to argue. Talking about. Listen. Don't do, do all of that. It's okay to debate. Actually, all you can do is no argue. Listen to the music. Yeah. Hope nobody die. That's really it. Dirt go to though. That's it. So your team, young boy. I'm not team nobody. Yes, I just, you is. No, because I can't name you five NBA young boy songs. So, so then you, I just so I'm then a then researcher you, of knowing you, that OTF, his you albums are doing good. So if you want to just you come to me? come to Dirt, I fuck with Dirt. Come to Dirt. Fucks with Dirt. Oh, God, you have to pick a side. You die in between. I'm dead in between. Man, oh. This nigga always the uh, what's that shit? Devil's um, advocate. Yeah, you're. I don't. I just don't. I don't want nobody to die because I just feel like we no, all the rappers not. that we fuck with is just gone. Like, what's not? All right, before we get into the next topic, I want to shout out our sponsor for this episode, 350, 350 Real. You heard 350. Feel me? Black-owned business. Make sure you head over to IG, 350.world. Shout out to 350 for yeah. the gear. Come shout, shout out, out to with John, the boys, man. Heard? We got Rock Nation in the building official. Feel me? Real Officially. special. Let's get that right the there out of the way. We say yes. special guests all the time, but this is a real, real special guest. Look, the rap sheet's so long, I had to write it down. Thanks. I got to... I had to write this down. It's here. We got the highest score in Bellport history. Y'all already know that. 
Mm-hmm. All players, not just females. 2,200 points. Yeah. <laughs> 22 of them things. Uh-huh. Miss yeah. Suffolk basketball. Yeah. All I'm State, sure. Long Island. Uh-huh. All State stands. IMG, you already know she was getting buckets out there. Average is 35. Look, the only woman out of IMG to go to the A. One. The only one. one. And y'all Another look, one. how many of them only. went to how many of them went to IMG? You do the math. Huh? <laughs> you do the math. Huh? Go look it up. You do the math. How many went to the, to IMG? Mm-hmm. That made it to the A. One. She's, one. She's special. Uno. One blow or two. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Messed around, went to college. Oh snap. Y'all know she about to be damaged there. Mm-hmm. All Metro Player of the Year, Jeez. first team all defense. Mm-hmm. She ain't just offense. Come on, with it. let's them. get it out the way. They don't need to give me my props on Dang, that. Let's get it out the way. At college, we D1. give you the flowers here, though. Okay, well, look as well. Where they at? D one. Niggas be saying shit. We ain't got shit on that. <laughs> look, all American. All. All American. We ain't talking about Spencer. Another week. We have an old episode. Sparks Drafty. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sparks Drafty. I watched that shit. Just Jordan won Brandy. the cup. Can't forget Jordan Brandy. Can't forget Don't Jordan forget that. Brandy. One of the Brandy. only. One of the 11, 11. And they all black. Ukraine Cup champ. Just won that. Couple nice. days ago. Hmm? Couple days ago. Couple days ago. It was all good just a week ago. Right? She's scary. And now. she's a member of the Puerto Rican national team. Web by mommy! Shout out to Puerto Rico. Yep. Introducing the one and only Garantes. Yeah, no. I give it up, man. Yeah. What's up, oh, y'all? Shout out to Garantes, man. What's up, y'all? We got a star in the building. First off, I want to thank you for coming to our little podcast. Man, you ain't had to come. Mean? You feel me? Culture, bro. It's like you had to come. I had to for come. The culture. Scott was a good. Scott was like, no, you need to bring yeah, your coming. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're trying to you get you on some season one. You <laughs> glad you come. was around to come. Better late than never. Now, we don't got to ask you where you from because, you know, I'm you don't know where you're from. No, so you're from, from the port. Where you from? Tell her where you from. I'm from the port. You from feel the me? Port, man. Huh? Not Patcho, not Medford. No. Right in the middle. Right in the middle, born and raised. Poor baby. Now, tell us what it was like growing up in Delport. Honestly, it was kind of a mix of ghetto and, like, white people. Like, <laughs> that's how the hood Every, is. Everybody think, word. that's how, everybody think Delport is just straight hood. It's not. Nah. Uh, nah. It's very diverse. As nah, soon as you cross that track, as soon word. as you cross that track and you go to the village, it's, that's a very, very nice place. Right. I remember we used to, um, we was at the Boys and Girls Club. They, remember they had the, um... The little fundraiser. Yeah, yeah, And you yeah. be serving Beast all the... Yeah, yeah, we be serving the, all the hors d'oeuvres to them white people. Right? <laughs> Yo, who was doing that? Yes. Like three, four years straight. What? I was doing uh-huh. that since diaper. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a three-day event. But nah, right. going to Belfort, it's, it's special because, like, I just felt like, you know, I, of course, like, I knew at an early age what I wanted to do. And, you know, I just set my goals and everything. But... Um, it's easily to get distracted out here. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like you want there. There could be a time where you focus, and then like you want to be down with everybody else. And like mm-hmm. I just felt like, like I owe it. I owe, owed it to like my family, myself, and like, um, just the town in general. Like just mm-hmm. to keep, you know, keep being disciplined. Keep and stay, yeah, that's yeah, stay yeah. focused, course. stay locked in. So. It's a time to turn it off and turn it back on. Some people just keep. Keep it on. Mm-hmm. And you definitely Turn take it a off. lot. Of, it definitely take a lot of discipline to get to the point that you at now. Yeah. Now, do you have certain people in Belport that like helped you mold? Like, like I'll say, probably like your favorite coach in Belport. Look, I already <laughs> know who is going to be. All the people, all the Mister Powell. I don't. No, Powell. That's my. That's my grandpa. Shout out to Powell. Well, that's my mentor. Yeah. Well, too, you know Powell. Way. Nah, I got shot. And Big Rob. Of course. Kyle yeah. writes the best reference letters. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he sure do, because he wrote me a couple. Word. He wrote me a couple. He about to write best me mine ones. for my corrections. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I would say, like, honestly, like, when people started, like, seeing that I was serious about playing basketball, mm-hmm. and I'm like... When was that? 
it had to be like high school. Like, no, actually, it had so, to be you, middle school. I'm about to say, because everybody, seven grades, you on varsity I'm running it. You've yeah. been on varsity since, since middle school. Seven, but I don't, I don't think people took me seriously, she though. Did. We you, did. Well, you know what they were saying. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I don't think I don't think like too many I told people you, was taking me serious. You was busting my ass, so I knew you were serious. Yeah, so I feel like after like people knew I was serious, I feel like the whole community kind of like I mean, of course you had some haters, and then but most of the community was just like they was gonna keep me on track. That's so I would always say, yeah, you, right? yeah, like they was, hey, they see me out there doing something not, I was supposed to be doing, it's not or all the time you get, yeah, you know what I mean, and shout out to the hood for that. Right. Shout out to everybody they that was locked me. in. They protected me for sure, but I say the most two influential people definitely was my dad, my mom, Big and love. pal. Like yeah. they was really the ones putting in the most pain. Honestly, like I ain't gonna lie, your mother probably one of the most official people I ever met in my life. <laughs> Word up, everybody love Miss D. Everybody love Miss like, D. Know that since I was little, man. Like she always been official. Every time I see, hey boo. Hey, boobs. Every yeah. time. That's definitely hey, a word, yeah. too. Yeah. Hey, boobs. Every time, yo. I've I been know. hearing that since I was like seven years old. <laughs> oh, man, man, yo. Yo. He was bad as hell when he was young. Oh, my gosh. My <laughs> God. I can't stand that time. Right? We used to go to war. <laughs> but it's all right. I turned out to be all right, young man. You feel me? All right. Tell us your uh, where you get your work ethic from. Because everybody knows they've seen you in any type of gym, whether it's the Boys and Girls Club. Open high school, any team that you can go to that you can get into. Mm-hmm. And your work ethic is what I know from personally what you really are passionate about. Yeah. More than anything. Yeah. I, was, I would have to say, like, I kind of was born that way, honestly. I didn't really um, start paying attention to other, like, athletes like Kobe and Candace and all that stuff till I started watching basketball. But, like, I was born with a competitive mindset. My parents used to always say, like, I was like a shine stealer. But really, I was just competitive. Like, I just want, yeah, I wanted to be the best at everything. So my brother played the saxophone. I was going to be better at him than in the saxophone. Like, that's just how I was. So I was born with that mindset. But then I started channeling it to basketball, watching, like, Kobe. Yeah, yeah. That's your favorite player? Of course. The Bean. All right. Mamba. Yeah, you know that. Rest in peace to that guy. Now, is there any females that uh, you looked up to in the uh, WMG? Absolutely. Like, um, I like taking bits and pieces out of everybody that I like, mm-hmm. but I say the first person that I really was like fell in love with their game was was Candace Parker, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, like growing up, I I liked how swaggy and cool Kathy would be on the court. Mm-hmm. And, like, and we would go. With the boys and girls that we go to the liberty games and watch mm-hmm. cappy so i got to see her in person all the time so she became my, my favorite player um and i grew up watching bria hartley she from long mm-hmm. island and you know seeing her route that she took we didn't come from the same place or nothing but i would just channel a little bits from everybody honestly yeah. all right now i got hold on i got a question i got a question about that all right so you know how when you when you're when you're young and you see the the the, the players, mm-hmm. you know how does it feel to actually watch them as like a young kid? Like oh my god, because if I've seen LeBron James when I was about fifteen, I'm like, oh my god, never even know thinking I'm gonna be playing against. Well, obviously thinking with from you coming from your point, yeah, but like yo, I'm gonna be playing against you exactly. Right. And then when you finally get there, you look across the court. Now I'm not even I'm not even in the stands on the TV. It's like <laughs> oh I'm right god. here. <laughs> No, nah. I was. I just look, looked at you about five years ago, on the court. You didn't see me. I seen you. Now you know who I am. You see me on the court. You got. You got to guard me. How does that feel to be, to 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 be to go in from, that to go position? From the couch to the court, really. Like that's just a surreal moment, honestly. Yeah. Like you don't even realize it until you get there, like you said. Yeah. Like you just working every day. Like a lot of this stuff, like I obviously envisioned and I wrote it down and I wrote all my goals down. But then like to see it unfold in front of me is like, oh shit, this just happened. What's yeah, next? Yeah. Like yeah. what I gotta do next. So I don't really stay too too long in the moment. Mm-hmm. But like I, I remember um this one game. This is when Diana Taurasi walked. Um, we was playing mm. Phoenix, Mercury. Mm-hmm. Diana Taurasi, she on the other side of the court warming up. And I'm I'm warming up doing my, I'm like, <laughs> should I go talk to her? Like, 
And then I asked my teammates, I'm like, yeah, what, like, what's she like? Because I know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. D- yeah. Diana t- can be a hothead sometimes. Like, I'm like, what's she like? Um, she was like, honestly, it just depends on what day yeah, you talk yeah. to her. Because she could be like, what <laughs> up, youngie? Yeah, what up? Yeah, like, what up, youngie? Then be like, and then nah, she, you, gonna, you got to get these buckets. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know who you are, Rook. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Somebody like, get this rookie. One or two ways with you. No, it can be that way, or she can be like, me. "Fuck out my face." Right. <laughs> what fan done crept on the court? <laughs> <laughs> get her out! Get her out of here! Security. <laughs> now, knowing that there's a lot of athletes in Belport, uh, and a lot of them didn't go to Belport High School or went to Belport and transferred, how mm-hmm. do you think staying in Belport High School better, Joe? You know, experience. Yeah, because that's the other thing, bro. Really. Yeah. Just, she did a lot. She really did right, a and lot. You stayed. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. You got people, I ain't going to say names, but other people that left, went to Academy before they went to Belport or was in Belport and then left, you actually stayed. You feel and me? put, the ma- put it on the map. Like you you like literally the only person I know that, that stayed at a school, at a public school. That's in, well, That was in League 4, right? Mm-hmm. In League 4. Went as far as you did. League 4, you know, even in the other leagues, and went as far as you, without, you know, just... You know, up and going. Yeah. You know, like let me get out of here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's just not listening to outside forces, really, because I had a bunch of schools like St. Anthony's and St. Mary's. Everybody, they hitting me up like, "Come over here, play with us. We got D one players. We got five D one players on the court." But how much better was I really gonna get? Like, yeah. right, right. You know, you need reps, especially you need to learn the basics and stuff in high school. And I think that's what like, um, kind of made me like grow yeah like it, it helped me grow but also like it kept me disciplined too yeah um so i really think it's just not listening to outside forces and then stay in the course with stuff like sometimes yeah. like you gotta wait stuff out yeah. um you can't up and run every time something get hard or stuff don't go your way or you think it's not working most of the times when you plant that seed like you got to keep watering it. It's yeah. not going to just yeah. grow the same day. Like, so. You think, you think like, like stuff like that, like being from where you're from, and like you said, staying in the school, you think that makes you appreciate like your, um, your career more? Yeah, because loyalty is a thing. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. um, and you basically, like you showed that you was loyal early on. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You didn't yeah. let these other school waver you. Cause I'm pretty sure they offered you incentives and all that. Like, yeah. And you stick to your guns and you stayed at Belfort. Yup. Like I just want to say shout out to the to the uh, to the boys and girls club, the hood, the people that played in there because facts we was really you know still dogging her. Like, oh was, my god! Yo, we was <laughs> dogging her. <laughs> we like yo, you gotta get better. <laughs> get, <laughs> back up, back up, Barella. <laughs> She's like, all right, all right. We made her tough. Man, you know I, mean? I was playing we with the co heads. There was a sniper in there. What? Man, I was busting. I was busting everybody at the boys' right. best club. <laughs> everybody. Vo got it. I remember Vo got lit up one day. Boy. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Vo Yo. and what you there with? Uh, oh, me shit. and uh, Isaiah played one on one. Oh my days. God, Isaiah Musin, <laughs> Zay. Zay was about to cry. Uh, yeah, I almost made Zay cry. I, Shout I out Zay. That. Shout That's out Zay doing his thing yeah. at Wake Forest, man. Facts, facts, facts. Shout out Zay. But Zay was a Wait young boy. A Zay was a young, he, another young he boy. He was, he was. He was he in was. seventh grade on JV9, I remember. Mm-hmm. I bet you was tall. But, now, do you have mm-hmm. a favorite, my bad. No, no, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Do you have a favorite memory from like um your basketball games in high school? Because I know you had a 50-point game. Right. Oh, Yo. yeah, I had a couple of them. Um, <laughs> you see, did you, you see how she tried to slide past it? Oh, right did you, like, did you get that quintuple? I did. You know, I wish we had social media back in no, the high school. I always school. say the that. Quint cameras. Tuple. What that like? Because yeah, honestly, five. I was going crazy. I, I had a quadruple double. I was average. Like a lot of people don't even know. Like I was averaging. Oh, man, get into it, man. You, I was top five in saying, five so categories home, nationally. That's crazy. That's Nobody was doing that in high school. I was That's averaging 35, crazy. 17, 8, and 5. Like eight blocks. Wrong, not, not Yeah, bro. Eight That's blocks. what I'm saying, bro. Give me that shit. <laughs> Yo, nah. I remember I remember when they tried to 
Cause you they try to run the box on one. Now the box on one is what they sit in the zone, uh-huh. and then they got and then they got one person following you everywhere you go. Mm-hmm. So y'all breathing the same air literally, the for the, the whole game. That ain't COVID friendly. And they starting <laughs> and they starting off like that. Box and one. Give them the tip. Boop. Box and one. And then I remember when they tried to double. Uh huh. Right. Then they tried to triple. Mm-hmm. Right. Then they quadruple. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the whole I said, open. I said, I ain't never look going right through him. Boom, boom, Yo. boom, boom. Excuse me, <laughs> boom, boom, layup. Everybody, the coach sitting there, and everybody, the, the players on the coach look straight at the coach. I would have sat the whole team, man. Shrugged their shoulder, get down court. Crazy. Yeah, I would have to say, I forgot about the quadruple double. That was legendary. But the my favorite um, game was we went to, um, I, I used to come to school late all the time, y'all. I used to run to school, though. I used to run to school. So I would come to school late. One day, I came later than usual. Mm. And you had to be in school for four periods to play yeah, the game. Right to play. So I was only in there for three and a half. So yeah. McIntyre coming down, you know, trying to be trying strict. To be yeah, trying to be trying Mac. To be so he like, all right, you can't play. They tell me, I'm telling you, news 12 at this game. I cannot play the the whole game. So I'm watching oh. my team getting blowed out. Kings right. Park having a blast mm-hmm. over here, you know, laughing and joking. I was like, all right, bet. Uh-huh. All right, we get back to them. We go play them. Have 58. I was like, Dad, don't take me out. We was up by tw- we was up by 20. They didn't take their starters out. Don't take me out. Facts. That was probably my favorite. That mama mentality. Yeah, don't Laugh take me again. out. For real. Laugh yeah. again, Kings Park. Facts. Laugh again. I think my favorite memory is when, uh, you remember that time they had the boys game? I don't know if this was a homecoming game or a fan, uh, appreciation game, but they had the a varsity boys game and a varsity girls game happening at the same time. And uh-huh. we literally was running oh, back and so. forth to each gym going to see y'all I play. Think. I think he was on the boys team, so he was going to see y'all play. Then we had, they shut us, our shit down, security guards. Mm-hmm. You got to stay in one gym. But yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite memories yeah, of watching y'all yeah. play. Watching greatness happen right now. What you mean? One I remember job. we got that picture. Remember we were standing oh in front God. of that? the MVP pictures, and we st- yeah yeah that was the that was the MVP joints, and we all had we had to get the ball when we yeah looking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, looking well I still cheap. got that joint. Uh uh-uh. uh. Now, looking when you young. left out of high school and the process of, what was the process like picking the school, like picking your college? Because mm. I know you had a few, or I think you had like question. five offers, right? What? 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 Do I got to repeat oh, this? 4,000 Washington High School. I thought they said five. This? Nah, I had a top five. Top five, all right. Correct. I had I stand at least like five. Quintuple. <laughs> Damn. A few 50 point games. Nah. <laughs> only only five schools. <laughs> it's it's top, top, five, top, top five. You think five, the Rock five, wanna five, sign three. somebody that like, only listen. had five schools? Don't don't act like ah uh, they ain't want me to play basketball. <laughs> okay. The coach was on come my on head now. every summer. He wanted me to come. Tell I was him. like, listen, Grassy, I throw parties. <laughs> <laughs> I don't throw I basketball. Parties and dance. I drink alcohol. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? The fuck, I'm 17, drinking bottles. Tie live, tie two live. Yeah, right. Uh, two live crew. Two live I crew. I retired that man, no, I retired him. Yeah. You know two live yeah, crew to the right. culture crew. Right? But yeah, tell us your top five. Your top five schools that, that you had. Tell us the, could, could you talk? I was about to say, could you tell us? I was about to say, could you tell us? What was the thought process of like, what made you pick the school that you actually did go to? Mm. Like, you know what I mean? That's a great question. Honestly, cook like IMG. I w- I went to IMG, so I because I am I wasn't ready to pick a school, um. So I went there, reclassed into my normal grade, and at IMG, you know, doing work. So we had a bunch of schools coming. in. We had South Carolina coming in, Florida coming in, LSU. I actually went took a visit to LSU. Um, that was actually my favorite school. I'm not gonna lie. At all schools, Rutgers, LSU, and Texas Tech. That was my top three. LSU was my down, t- no doubt about it. My favorite visit. I don't know why I didn't go there. I was about to say what happened. I don't oh, know. We was lit. What, what, made it, <laughs> what made it so iconic, yo? LSU, like Y'all you know, got stories. Y'all I got to think for yourself, right? black head coaches. Um, no, just learning from them, like, mm-hmm. and their iconic coaches, and then LSU, like, I don't know. It just seemed like an easy transition, really, like. And I had fun on the visit. Like, 
It was big. Like, <laughs> do you feel like it was too far away from home? That might have been it. But that might have been it. But then I also went to Texas, so this is like. Oh, shit. I can't wait to talk. About <laughs> so everything big in Texas. Yeah. What? So I don't know. Honestly, I I wasn't even trying to go to college. If you if we're being one hundred percent honest, like my mom, the reason why I went to college, I wanted to go overseas and get a check. She said, uh-uh, baby, we getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go it's overseas like to go to and become a you. pro. I was not trying to go to college. That's why I kept prolonging the process. Everybody's like, so she's not drafted. interested, yeah. all this stuff. But, um, yeah, that's how I was. So I just picked the school, to be honest. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's now, you crazy. mentioned um, Texas Tech. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of your whole experience up in one word. Oh, it was a learning process because like I said I just picked the school because I was like I don't know where I want to go so right, I was like let's go to Texas and man. I think Texas Tech was my last visit so obviously it it was fresh in, it your was mind, fresh in my mind too so I think I just picked it up top of my head honestly and you know I'm glad I did that and just you know picked it out of just um whatever not yeah. a whatever, but like <laughs> rolling the dice. Fuck it. I'm gonna just go with the Thanks, flow. Right? And yeah. That's what it was. It was just okay. like, I'm gonna go with the flow with it. Um, so I called them and I went there, and honestly, it wasn't bad. Like I didn't have a bad a first year. Time. Like Texas was, it was different. It was a culture yeah. shock for sure. Like you know, people staring at you. I'm like, what you looking at? Like <laughs> just because they want to take some more staring. Like that's yeah, it. I'm like you can't you look at me you longer than like, three more seconds. Like. Yeah, not many states like people from New York. I don't know why. No. Nah. That's because Aggressive. we because we yeah. rude. We're rude. I don't know, but I'm not rude. No, nah, but yeah. when I say I don't that, even think New York is rude. I think New York is just tired of the of when I say, the we mind our business. Dramatic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, like we get straight to the point. And right. other in other states, you could just be pumping your gas and three pumps down, you're like, Good morning. You like the fuck are you talking about <laughs> <to me> for? <laughs> right. You, you understand what you I'm pull saying? off, they still chase I said good morning. Yeah. Like, Open the window down. Or they'd be like, How are you? I don't even like, know you. I don't want to tell you how are you. Why? Why? I'm upset now. What you gonna do about it? What if I say I'm bad? Right, I'm bad. Right, right. I need some money. And then it's like now we angry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Come here. Let's have us. a talk. <laughs> That's why they don't like. Going? Like she said, <laughs> you got three more seconds to look at me before I, before I get on you. What you looking at me for? Yeah, no, nah, the culture shock with Texas was good. It, it was just a different style of game too. They had like a more traditional style of basketball. Like they wanted to play inside out. I mean, they a lot of women's teams still play inside out, but yeah. you know, you come from New York, playing in a park, going to the city all the time. Mm-hmm. Like, now nah, I'm trying to be on this island. Like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was watching where you said it wasn't really complimenting your style of play mm-hmm. at Texas. Yeah, and that's that's when I knew, like, okay, well, picking a school actually mattered. Like, you yeah. can't just go hoop yeah. just anywhere. Like, a lot of factors go into like your career. Do I think I would have made it? Like, if I still stayed at Texas State. Yes, because like I still would have found a way. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I know I'm I'm just gonna keep working, but I yeah, yeah, you know. I would have adjusted. But um, you know, I kind of wanted to enjoy my college. Like if I was gonna do this college stuff, like yeah. do it to the full. Yeah, to the full like I wanted to enjoy my college I need, experience. I need everything. Exactly. Yeah, I need the game. Like, Cause Texas Tech, I was going straight to the gym. I wasn't going like the men's team will be playing. I'll go watch it for like twenty minutes, go to the gym and work out. Like I was just in the gym nonstop. I yeah. ain't really go out much. I ain't really have a relationship except for with um, my point guard per se. Um, and you know, I, I wanted to do things differently, so I was like, let me go enjoy this. So I came back to the north. So in a way, do you feel like it kept you on the straight and narrow because you didn't have friends to go to parties with or to go, you know? Yeah, like it kept me focused and I. I like the gym is fun for me. Like, yeah, I'm about I to say that's like your that's the stomping grounds right yeah. there. That's the moves yeah. right there. I, I don't want to be here anyway. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> I like that. I can sleep in this. Yeah, like I was literally. Yeah, you in could the gym. sleep. They would be like, "Go home, like yeah, go you home." Could sleep right. in the gym. Listen, man, give me the key. I lock up. Right. It's time to go. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, nah, you got that 24 access. hours. Yeah, you got that. You, go you, got, you, got, you got the you got the beep. Yup. Open the door. Yeah, the card. Yup. I ain't never been that good. Right? <laughs> now, do you want to talk about the the draft? How they freaking scummed you. I was watching Man, the shit. Gotta, yo. We, we gotta still stay on the college first. Then we gotta switch to that. Part. I was oh, watching damn. the shit. Cause I got <laughs> some Spot shit to say. To the, yo, first off, to Jesus. the New York Liberty. They should have been. 
I'm like, what the fuck is taking so long? Everybody in the hood. Yo, you, no you can record. You can put this in there, yo, man. Because I'm mad now. <laughs> Everybody in the hood was sitting here waiting. Arell, we wait. We know Arell are coming. I remember the moment. They want to wait to the second round, number 20. Yo, I'm, Dude, in, I'm in Florida, bro. I'm in Florida at the time yeah, watching man. the draft, son. Um, my shorty was watching something. I'm like, nah, I gotta put the draft on. I gotta put the draft on for yeah. what? I'm like, yo, like, I know I this girl. I'm like, like, I'm like, yo, the whole hood. Yeah. I'm like, yo, listen, I gotta watch. And like, the shit was taking mad long. She don't fuck with basketball like that. So she yeah, like, yeah. yo, like, when did she come? Like, I don't know. I just, <laughs> this shit is. Like, Shit is fucked up right get choked now. out? Yeah, I'm like, yo, <laughs> fuck. But I ain't gonna lie, when that shit came on, no way, I'm like, that's fucking yeah. air. Facts. Yo, I'm for like, real. Yo, you know how many times, you know how many snaps we made? We like, like, oh, here we go. Uh, oh, we gotta delete these. <laughs> you know, like, yo, and then in my head, I'm sitting there, after like the, well, like, well, how many pictures in the first round? Like 13, right? It's only two. Too fucking Whoa. many. Yo, at, right. After like the third pick, fourth pick, and then I seen the fifth, I said, I really going to wow out at, at Flip home. the whole fucking house. She's going to wow out at home. I text her, they ain't text me back at all. Still to this day, <laughs> ain't text me back. I said, I text her, I said, yo, now, now when you go up in there, kill him. Thanks. That's... Ain't text me I know she was tight. I said, she's going to wow out at home and then wow out on the court. I said, it's over. Man, y'all niggas want to wait this long for me? All right. Watch this. And in New York Liberty, y'all know damn well Y'all well, should've just, y'all right. know where she's from. Why that's why she busting y'all ass. We didn't, look, 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 and everybody, oh we would've God, had, we had the revenue for y'all. But no, the whole hood, the whole part would've came out. That's a fact. But no, y'all see? Y'all shows up for sure. Wait, the whole hood would've came out, but new, you know. LA, y'all some good people. Right on the podcast promoting. Mm-hmm. Every game, catcher. Nah. Now, was the experience, cause I know it was COVID. So it wasn't like the original, is it like, was it like the regular experience at the draft? Nah, see, these? there was no, I'm, I probably would have been invited to the actual yeah, like, definitely. draft thing. I was projected to go third. Um, so, yeah, you know, they usually up. take about, I think 12 people, yeah. whoever is top um, and a couple more. Um, but yeah, I was projected to go third and it was different. So yeah, COVID year, they didn't want to have it in person, so they sent like a bunch of stuff. They yeah. sent a bunch of all this studio equipment, all this stuff. Um, the ball, yeah, the glass it joint. was like a glass it was thing. Crazy basketballs. You kept like, all that stuff. Yeah, I still got it at the crib That's actually. Um, yeah, and then they sent camera equipment hat. because only a few, yeah, only a few people was going to get interviewed. You had the hat to put on your hat. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I ain't put it on, but it. I had it. Look, they lucky she wasn't there. Road right out, right out the shit. building. Damn, can we listen to her experience? <laughs> Nigga, I feel like it's my experience. I'm hyped. <laughs> Everybody I... felt, y'all was all a part of it. Because crazy, I was supposed to have a draft party, but I actually caught COVID. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the it was finna be lit. It was tight, too. We were tight, too. The first First day I, I pulled up. up, was it the was it the actual day when I pulled up and you was like, no, 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 don't come to the yard, don't come yeah, to the door. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm coming and she's like, no, 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 stay back. I'm like, what? Cool, of course. It's like we got COVID. I'm like, damn, I'm yeah. like, in my head, I'm like, we can't even go to that draft party. I know, I was so sick. So we Shit had shirts made, everything, but I'm kind of glad because I cut the camera off after like the seventh pick, honestly. I got the camera off because they were supposed to still interview me and stuff, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. And I, I just cut it off. I'm like, you can't do that. Why don't be on the camera crying? Mm, yes, oh, so was you frustrated? I mean, yeah, it was a bunch of emotions because you nervous. You don't know where you're about yeah. to go. Like, you just finished yeah. in college. Like, you could land in Minnesota. Dallas, Minnesota, Phoenix, places I ain't never seen before. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I heard, I heard yeah. Arizona lit, though. Phoenix is nice. I heard Phoenix that shit nice. lit. Yeah. So that's a bunch Beautiful of emotion. LA. Yeah, I'm living yeah, in LA. Yeah. How was that experience? Being from New York, moving all the way to the West Coast, like is it different? I feel like I'm on like the East Coast, West Coast type vibe. Like, I don't know. I I still got both. Like, you know, I'm New York till I die, but mm-hmm. like Cali, it's it's real easy to pick up their culture and mm-hmm. then it's real welcoming. It's great weather. Yeah, great you, be ta- you be taking some nice ass pictures. You see me? I know that <laughs> shit. I, th- I know that shit ain't here. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I like that you like when you come back home, you support the local businesses that's at home. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You'll be here. And you never act like too Hollywood or too nothing. Like you always stay yeah. home, support at home. Like 
And that's what we at home appreciate. Yo, you right. feel me? Yo, I'm proud yeah. myself on that. Cause and you that's know, the one thing. Because right. uh, I don't really feel like, you know, I'm I'm a really hard person to please. So like, especially mm-hmm. myself. So I don't be feeling like I really did anything yet. Like, but I feel like know, I'm just starting. Like, it's yeah. big, obviously, for You're everybody else. Yeah. It's big for everybody else. And it's big for the community. It's big for my family. And, you know, I'm starting a blueprint for other people. But, like, for Yo, me, I'm like, I ain't even touched the surface. NBA like, player, man. so you got I a just motherfucker. And what I got to act got Hollywood for? You got yeah. a blue check. You mm, signed the Jordan nothing. brand. Signed the Rock Nation. You signed the Rock Nation. That's what's crazy. that like? Yeah. Yo, what's crazy about Rock? They weren't even in like the picture or anything. Like, I ain't never spoke to Rock. I never brought Rock up. Like, they don't even go after female athletes. The only person they got signed on the female side is Skylar Diggins. They got a bunch of men. I love that girl. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I seen her Shout one out time to Skylar. <laughs> Almost lost my relationship. Nah, she she started a wave though. She did. Nah, she started yeah. a whole that's dope. the pretty girl hooper. That that started with Skylar for sure. Mm-hmm. Um but um yeah, what well, I was in practice and I'm a whole fan. Like I lived and breathed. Eat, sleep, Jay Z, like that's that's my guy. So, yup. Anyway, we gonna shout out to the Rock man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. Boy, die, baby. All right, <laughs> young. Anyway, yeah. So I was just fooling around in practice, and I was literally like just throwing the Rock sign up, like just throwing it up. And we started meeting with agents and stuff out of nowhere. Like my um. Powell was like, are you interested in such and such? You gonna put you on with The Rock? And I'm like, Rock, like, what you mean? Like, <laughs> Wayne The Rock Johnson? Who you talking about? Yeah, he gonna put you on with The Rock. And that's when, you know, I met Raymond and, you know, we had a great interview. Um, nice. And that's it was dope. it was fire. Like, I was like, what? I'm that's signing great. with The Rock. I'm gonna be the second female. Come like, that's now. historic. Right. History. Yeah, that's OD. Second female with The Rock. And I believe the only the only the eleventh female, right, with Jordan Brand. Mm-hmm. And before we pass the Jordan Brand, um, how'd the photo shoot go? Oh, it was fire. That was dope. Fire. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, you, you you met Michael Jordan? Yet? No, I didn't. I didn't meet Mike yet. We we photoshopped. We photoshopped him. Oh yeah, I just put it. <laughs> <laughs> just put a black ass back right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um. Yeah. I'm always talking to his daughter because she's like the head of everything. So Shit, we that's dope we enough. be talking we be talking all the time, and um, I'm bound to meet Mike. Obviously, but yeah, we gotta man. we gotta do team trips, brand trips, yeah. and apparently we do like a nice like little vacation thing with all the signees, like oh, everybody who signed to Jordan and everybody yeah. who part of Jordan. Yeah. We go on like oh, a little vacation and stuff. Bitch. So. That's what's up. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna be him. Well, listen, no, tell me, right. tell me, you know, I know he got a bunch of size 11s he can get rid of. <laughs> nah, <laughs> he got no size like He wears size 14. I don't give a fuck. No, he do You do? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Hey, I'm telling you, oh, yeah, I've been well, hooping in retros overseas. I was hooping in 12s. I, I fell in love with them. I know I can't hoop with them over here in the States, but. Yeah. I like Damn. 13s. I like retro <laughs> I like balling. 12s 13s are too, comfortable. Actually. For real? I ain't never liked them until I started playing basketball. 13s? Yeah. The 12s. 13s. No, no, no. I had the 12s, 12s in, in college. The 13s, too? You, you had some 12s I used to want. Them Gamma Blue the Gamma Druids? <laughs> mm, oh, oh, my wow. God. Wow, man. Yeah, that was a minute ago. Yeah, I remember. They all- <laughs> you don't forget greatness. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. Them shits came out one time. Now, I know Word. we skipped up and went to the WNBA thanks to Scott. Scott. Like, who does that? But uh, like, what was your experience oh. like at Rutgers? Rutgers is it's a tough place to be, but like Rutgers is like legendary. Like when you look at Coach Stringer, she got the longest track record ever. Like imagine introducing her. Like you'd be talking for two pages. Like yeah, Coach Stringer, exactly. that's the mm-hmm. GOAT. She was inducted in the Hall of Fame with Jordan, the oh, same dope. class too. That so shout out to that. Yeah, she so Yeah. Like she really paved the way and you know, there's a million we got a bunch of Rutgers women's basketball players in the A right now and the whole lineage is like legendary honestly at Rutgers so it was just like stepping into like my destiny really like mm-hmm. I just felt like this was where I was supposed to be and I was a Rutgers guard and I was playing under a strong head coach a strong black woman and I was like well shoot like you just gotta step into this journey like I was ready on, yeah Let's go. and wear them right 
Now, if I'm not mistaken, I know you sat out the first season. Mm -hmm. Now, what was that like? Because knowing you a competitor, I know that probably wasn't easy. It's hard because you're watching basketball games. No hooper yeah. actually likes watching basketball play, games when yeah. you're supposed to play. Like, um, but sitting out that I year, really like watching basketball games. Period. Shut up. <laughs> Bro, I don't even. I, I can't. I don't even know who's winning. Like, I promise. Tomorrow, I don't know. Yeah, but um, yeah, watching was tough. But like, Rutgers is not an easy program to get into. Like, um, just to flow into. So I got a chance to kind of like feel the system out and kind of prepare myself for the next year mm -hmm. and um and then I got some time to rest like I would be when they on the road I couldn't travel with them so I would be home or I'd be on campus <laughs> Live yeah. that college like now was your experience there completely different from your experience at Texas Tech well yeah I was outside <laughs> I was outside. COVID who? We were jersey dancing like because I wasn't even no COVID like then. when I was at Texas Tech like it was a different type of culture, so the music is different. They playing a bunch of country song, not country music, but like what they listen, listen to. Listen so I'm that, like that little flip, all them guys. Yeah, <laughs> so it was Shout a different vibe flip, when you go outside, um, and you go into parties and stuff, and then you know they drop that one, uh, no letting go. Their only reggae song they know out there. Mm -hmm. That's about yeah. it. So I be like, you be hype, you like, oh, this is my jam, and then you be ready for the next one, and they just change it. And yeah, go they pull to, out a band. I got the horses in the back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, nah, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going outside no more. Like I'm done. But um, came back home. Came back home. Hmm. You know they know yeah. the vibe. We Jersey is. Try. You know Jersey want to be a little bit like New York, so. Oh, yeah. You know, shout out to Jersey though. Now, did that I ball club you fit, fit, fitted you more than? Because you, I know you said Texas Tech, you feel like it wasn't really benefiting your game. Um, I don't. Yeah, it fit my style more for sure because it was guard. You know, they Rutgers play, guards they play are more like you. Yeah, you know, Rutgers guards they they legendary. Yeah. So we got Kalia Copper who just won the Finals MVP. You got nice. Cappy, Cappy, one of my favorite players, went to Rutgers. Like she a dog. Benaja Laney, like, Rutgers guards go crazy yeah. now. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's a very guard oriented program. Like, we love the post and everything. We use everything, but they love, they let the guards hoop. Like, they, they take let care the, of you there. the guards yeah. is dogs. Like, yeah, and that's how I felt like I was. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I need a dog team. Like, we don't care who we playing. Yeah. We don't yeah. care if you ranked above us, none of that. So, like, that's how it was. Like, that culture there at Rutgers, like, I felt like they matched my energy. And then, Obviously, I, I kind of got to know them more because... Spend more time. Yeah, I grew up. Like, yeah. I'm growing up. I'm like, all right, let me exert... Like, I might have... Texas Tech wasn't fully Texas Tech fault. Like, I ain't, yeah. I ain't reach out to people. I ain't trying to yeah, go hang out with nobody. Later. Yeah, like, I ain't trying to hang out with no one, really. So, it was no revenge in hitting the game winner on them in the last four seconds, was it? Oh, what game winner? Then you hit it on Texas? That was Texas a and I was playing oh. for Texas Tech. So you still at take the time, on Texas. No, yeah. <laughs> Anytime we play a Texas team, yeah, for sure. Anything with Texas in here. it, <laughs> nah, for real. But I got all love for Texas Tech for sure. Now we can go to pros. Oh, right here, Jesus. That's, that's right, you, right so there. First game. Huh? That's your cue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New York Liberty. <laughs> don't start, man. We don't, they we got don't, me mad. Y'all, you don't even understand. But like, up. that's just the business of sports, yeah. though. It's, I don't not, care. it's not about. Like, I don't care. You did from New York. I don't mean New York know how it's going on. Like New York, y'all know what's popping. It's the hottest one out out in in New York right, right now. That's supposed to come out. She been Jesus. outside. Y'all know what time it is. And her support system is crazy. We would have been at the games. Come on, New York. Sure. You know, Liberty. ain't nobody going there right now. Right. Do they have somebody like a hometown star on the Liberty? Mm, no. Because I was searching, I didn't see nothing. No, see, yeah. like, but that's what I'm matter. saying. They passed up on it. Exactly. What's that? They, look, they going to see though. So, womp womp on y'all. We going to how is it? Hit them with it. Hit them yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah. We going to give this right here to New York. <laughs> Liberty. Exactly. Hit it one more time, yeah, please. Do like I can just like the damn Thank niggas. We ain't so going to talk about that. You ain't got to comment on that one. <laughs> that's all right. You ain't got. Uh, that's from me. Hey, I'm that's a Knicks fan. I'm a Knicks fan. Right, I'm a Knicks fan too, so I can too. talk. Okay, okay. Yep. You feel me? I feel you. I'm, I ain't never been. Cause we've been through Listen. it. We've been through Listen. it. Listen. I hate the Knicks all the way down to the colors, <laughs> orange and blue. The fucking Knicks man. Got cool about the government. 
Orange and blue. I'll fight. I'll fight. Are you a kidding? That's yo, and I'm gonna good on a jersey. Since yo. I was a no, it fight. don't. That's that to me. Right. The orange got it. Really? With some butters? <laughs> the orange, <laughs> ever since I was a kid, ever since I was the blue was cool to me. But that orange Our color, system, the bro, orange man. and blue, it, it reminded me of like you know what like the orange, the orange. Look, ready? Who like orange Skittles? You don't want to eat that. Them orange Starburst. Star. You don't want to eat the Star Orange Starburst. You gotta grow up. We just started liking the orange Gatorade. You sound racist. Nah, yeah, I ain't messing with that. That's take like medicine. <laughs> that don't, look, I nobody fuck, like yeah. orange. I fuck orange Gatorade. Up. All right. <laughs> you thirsty? I will. Yeah, the yeah, lemon yeah. drink. I mean, I prefer the blue, but. Eh. All right, so look. Mm-hmm. Going to Ukraine. What? What made you go there? What? Made, what was the decision? And why did you choose to go there? The bag. The Birkin bag. <laughs> Shout out to the bag. Shout out to the bird. The bag. Um, yeah, uh, when, you, when you go overseas, like hey, that's a different type. That's a different so style of bag, um, being a professional athlete. Like only the strong survive overseas. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's not easy. Just getting money. Just like of course when that when that deposit hit you like all right i got another couple weeks like, but, <laughs> but the next the next couple days like you really there by yourself all the time in a foreign country people don't speak your language the culture is different um some places are not modernized like so it's a different type of grind and to go overseas like you just gotta put anybody who goes overseas anywhere honestly um and it's different than it's it's strictly professional like professional basketball. That's what you're going to do. You're going to get buckets. You're going to win games, and that's it. It's a little different than in the U.S. Like when you playing in L.A. and you playing in New York, you playing for the WNBA. You got other stuff. You got branding. You got your personality, media personalities. You got a whole bunch of stuff outside factors that factor into um, your career. Your career as a basketball player and on and off the court. So. Like going overseas and hooping, I was like, Strictly going I'm to work. going, I'm going to work and I'm going to get money. Like that's really it. Like ain't no reason to play around with it. That's all. So yeah. Ukraine. How long were you out there? I was out there since I went there. I think like a couple of days before my birthday. So I was in there oh, in October. October. Yeah. Yeah, because I that's seen October. your post. I seen on your Instagram you posted like around like the end of September or something like that. Mm-hmm. Is when you now you around that you was going there. Around when you was going there, did you did did they say anything about how Russia they was in going in, in into it with Russia? Nah, like the whole that was never mentioned. Like of course, like you never know what over, like overseas. So they talk about something like that. Yeah, they talk about they stuff in your like contract, it. like. And any casualty of war, anything going on, like with the country, like that's on you. Need immediate release, like you need to go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much everywhere, though. Yeah. Like, pretty much everywhere. So they wasn't mentioning none of that. I was going there just to get my bag, play some games, stay in shape, and get some reps. Get that's ready really to come it. back here and cheer bring a cup yeah. there. So. Get back yeah. here. Yeah. Shout out to bringing the Ukraine cup. Those my peoples. And so. How long? Um, oh my bad. How long you been back? Like before all of this started. How soon did you get back? Didn't you get back like a week? Mm-mm. Oh, a couple I was days. Like pushing a, a day and a half. Before all this stuff happened. Mm-hmm. Dang, it felt like we was talking about that for a week, and then you was like, "Yo, I, I was you, sending you." Oh stuff yeah, yeah, in yeah. The group chat. Wow. Um, so like, like dang, you, yeah, you that's there, right. You was there basically. Yeah, that's when the, right. When the pump faking was happening, like, yo, I'm, we gonna blow this shit up. Yeah. yeah. We gonna blow this shit up. Because I remember up. Nick was like, damn. <laughs> I remember when you that's got back. Only, that's the only way I could think of it. I remember, when, we like, got, I remember when you got back and Nick was like, dang, man, you just got, <laughs> that's, the, that's what he said in the group. He goes, dang, man, you just made it. Because <laughs> they look, they, they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they shooting was, motherfuckers out the sky. Yeah, yeah so, uh, what happened was, all right, this is how the whole timeline went. We was in, I was in Ukraine from October to December. Um, I came back, but around December was the time Russia was like, all right, we about to like, start, yo, we about to start turning up, and um, about to start booming. Yeah, so we was already like, coach, you see this? Like, 
What's nothing up? To worry like, about. Nothing to worry about. Absolutely. It's okay. That's exactly what they would say. They would be we like, Ukrainian nothing. strong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> we were part of them before. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> there. We have their playbook. Putin. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, I can't deal with you. Putin. Putin, he's, he's a pussy, as you say <laughs> in America. He's calling his bro. Facts. They were saying. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> run, run. They're, they're not playing around. Get in the Get bunker. Out. Get in the <laughs> bunker. <laughs> I can't deal with y'all, man. I'm not laughing. Yeah, sure. And he came out. Oh, shit. <laughs> and in my face that They weren't bullshitting. Get down. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Grenade, grenade. <laughs> Load it up. Now. <laughs> Yo. Get the tank. We all from British <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, nah, man. all jokes aside. Brother said, get me to this fucking plane now. <laughs> right now. Yeah, so I was worried in December. I'm like, me and my, my teammates, we was like, we got to get up out of here. Like, they yeah. joking. They telling the U.S. has <laughs> said, <laughs> get out. U.S. said, they sent an embassy home, get out. Um, Don't worry about it. Yeah, they were like, it's been like this since 2014, all that stuff. So we was going yeah, home yeah. anyway. So we, was, we wasn't really worried about it because we was going home anyway. So it's Christmas break. We going home. Um, I extended it a little bit because I had caught COVID again yeah. off off the plane right on Christmas Day. Um, so I was out while other people went back. I was still here, um, and they were still talking, but it was dying down a little bit. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't really. So then I went back to Ukraine, and I only I only went back because I was only gonna be there for another like week and a half mm -hmm. because I had to go back with the Puerto Rican national team. So I'm like, I'm only gonna be there for a week. So hopefully nothing Ain't go nothing down. Happen. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, you playing with fire thinking like that, but you <laughs> thinking like, all right, stuff is normal. Like there's no real <laughs> threat while I'm there. there right now. So um, yeah, I'll go back and then I'm out in a week and a half, boom. Then they say like, they're like, you're not going back. Cause once I was gone, with Puerto Rico, that's when things started heating up. Like yeah, they man. like, you got 48 <laughs> hours, all this stuff to get up out of there. I wasn't gonna go back to Ukraine at all. I wasn't gonna go back, but then I was like, they was like, come back for, um, come back for four more days just you know to win the cup. what your coach trying to do, right? Your coach was trying to draft you. You're gonna have extra troops when they come. She's a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> From three. Give her M16. She shoots 20 feet away. No problem. She shoots specifically an eyeball. How yeah. you say? My eyes. <laughs> yeah, so I, they was like, come back for four days. Um, everything cool right now. Just come back for four days, play this game, get up out of here. And that's what I did. And y'all won it. And I just, Cause I, cause just I know, made it. I know, cause I know when when you won that joint, <laughs> bang, bang. As soon as the game over, and you know you good game, good game. No, 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 and go. Let's get the bag. Come hey, on, get yo, the when suit. I tell you, my <laughs> Skip mind the was on nothing else. Cause when you playing basketball, you you need to think about nothing. As soon yeah. as we mm -hmm. won the cup, they're like, let's go out to karaoke, no, all this stuff. Way. I go out. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna fuck with y'all. <laughs> right. Uh, we out, I'm out cool. here. I'm gonna go uh, pack. Uh, you know, I'm gonna get ready. No, y'all cool, but you know. Uh, nah, they're my people, uh, though. They was fun. They was fun. And how fast? Me, how man. fast after the um the uh, game did you get on the plane? So um, I had to wait till the next day. If I if I could have got on the plane right after the game, I would have. <laughs> honestly. Cause I would have oh, just booked my flight. Rock, y'all better send that PJ, man. <laughs> <laughs> playing, playing around. Yeah, so I got on. I went at nine. My plane was supposed to leave at nine, but I couldn't even get on a flight. Something happened, so I was nervous. Like I'm telling you, I was nervous. I done left my SIM card at the crib. God damn. Yeah, like stuff was just not going right that day at all. Like I lost all contact with my family. My dad was he could not go to sleep and. Like, I just had to buy a flight at the airport. Mm. Luckily, they have more. Yeah, because I would have thought your ass got blown up. <laughs> you know, that's that's, 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 that's the like, first place like, they got. That's too. crazy. And you, and you also, and nonetheless, you made friends out there. You made, yeah. you know. So now I know you it's like, it's like, me. yo, you got, yeah, you got like a bond with people out there and you know what they're going through now. Yeah. They can't right. leave. And you can't imagine, like, what if I lived over here anyway and I can't go to them? Yeah, bomb like you gotta think about it. Like in the U.S., really, like 
if something were to happen, like most people not gonna leave. Like yeah. it's their it's their country. Right. Like I even know what that's yeah. what I said. Like over the last couple like days that has been happening, it's like I guess people here don't really know how serious it is because like people when you on when you on social you. media you see all the memes and shit and exactly it's like all right it's funny but then like that's why it, it was it's interesting to, like have your point of view from actually being, being there movie. like while yeah. it's happening it's yeah, like yo like, this shit really wasn't a that's joke that's why i don't even it's be not sharing, a joke like, at all yeah. that's yeah. why i don't even it's be sharing funny. i see the memes i laugh at them yeah, but I'm, not because of like like you know, certain the, ones the messages I behind it at. yeah i laugh it, i laugh because it's clever you know what i mean it's yeah like, witty, but, it's witty yeah, I like yeah the you remember in high school they would have political messages like political yeah yeah of course yeah you know and that's kind of what it is but they call it memes now but that's not really what it is like it's just political art Mm -hmm. And we witness in history, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Until <laughs> something happened over here, and then now everybody's all oh, let's cut that. That's, that's why. Not, that's why I said yeah, it's, like, it's you close know, to home now. It's like yeah, people talking about shit. We could be on the brink of another world war, and it's like we Very just gonna well. send Chief Keith out there. He's gonna blow up the fucking Russia. No, nah, that's not. That's not right. Really, I mean, like the memes is like it make you feel like yeah, this shit ain't nothing, but. Till, till it happened in quote, yeah. quote unquote yeah. cause then when you start seeing now, the videos of people's regular people their yeah. whole apartment building just being blown up for yeah. nothing you know what I mean you seen the video of the guy driving and the bombs were dropping in front of his car while he was like driving school? nah I ain't see that That's I crazy. seen that yeah. it was he was driving getting out of the way that's crazy like just to think about what they're going through right uh, now yeah. like, and then it hits home because like I said like you know people. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've made yeah. friends out there. I've made connections out there and built bonds with those people. So I'm checking on them, making sure they safe all the time. And then you, I'm in group chats with them. You see the messages. They're taking precautions. They're like, hey, guys, like, we're going to go to the bunker tonight. Everything's safe over here right now. I ain't hear nothing. And then some of them, some of them, they're all in different areas of Ukraine right now. Some of them are like, oh, it was pretty loud tonight. Like, we're going to we're gonna see if the roads are clear or something like that like just to see those messages is like kind of heartbreaking like i was really sad i couldn't even be on social media like yeah. the first like couple of hot days of this all happening because i'm like dang like my i just want to chip with these people like a day mm -hmm. ago and mm -hmm. if you know i didn't take the necessary precautions i could either be in that situation and even even though i'm not and i'm blessed to be out of that situation it still hits hard because like, it could have been. Yeah, like those those my people. Like I I was grinding with them every single day. Like playing, we practicing twice a day every single day. Playing games together, hanging out with each other all the time. Like real you, yeah. When you are athlete, like your team is your family because yeah. you see them yeah. all day. Mm -hmm. Like even though you want to get away from them, like <laughs> you see them all day. Like that's your family. So and then you know you you're appreciative of like the team you, I was appreciative of the team and the program I was on because there's people overseas like whose teams aren't so friendly and yeah. the, the teams don't embrace them and it's strictly business or it's, it's even worse. Like they treating them like shit. Like I didn't have a program like that. Like I had a very professional yeah. program and a program that just um, embraced Embrace me you. with open arms. They met me halfway and they were nice people. Um, and they went out for like, they went hard for us. So, it's it's hard to like see them go through that. All right, shout out to Ukraine. Go pray for them, man. There. Hope they talk the situation now with Russia. Ooh. Hopefully, oh, it's all, it gets Ooh, you better get off your bullshit, man. Facts. And Biden, you better now. Yo, uh, Biden, shut the fuck up before they come over here. And Biden below these gas prices. Yeah. <laughs> Bing bong. <Huh. laughs> Bing. <laughs> you need to lower them gas prices, right? For real. <laughs> For real. Hey, yeah, no, let's yo, talk about quick. Cali gas prices. I'm about to say, how's yeah, yeah, the yeah, gas I'm about over to there? Say, Cali, what? I was, I was driving a Nissan Altima. Ain't that good on gas, though? Yeah, I was paying $70 for a tank. Five, six dollars for gas in Cali. No, oh, man. Oh, in, man. The summer, in the yeah. summer, bro. In the summer. You know how this summer about to get. They know people about to be driving, too. Shit. I'm about to get me a bike. Want to go to the beach? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I it's had about to be a lot of in shape people. In Rutgers, I had a scooter for the past couple of years. I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> scooting to the train station, though, everything. Yes. Like I was out. You, you can, can just put that shit on the train Florida. too, would you? The scooters yeah. are hell for us. They're convenient. All right, so boom. After the drive, you get drafted to the LA Sparks. <laughs> 
first game. <laughs> first game. First game. First time being a professional WNBA player. How was your experience? It was like just like any game. Like I prepared the same way. <laughs> I prepared the same way. Like I didn't feel like it was nothing different. You just in a different environment. You got no choice. Different. Yeah. You got no it's a basketball game. It's either <laughs> It's it's the Put same game. Shot. That's what I'm saying. It's the What's same it? dream. It's just like goddamn. Like, like whatever I can do to not look stupid, not not make the team look bad. Be a yeah. lot, not be a liability. That's what. It and is. my situation was a little different. Like a lot of people don't even know what half of the stuff I went through with that draft. Like I missed almost all of my training camp wow. because I had COVID. Like I was healthy, but. WNBA wasn't flying me out like yeah, they wasn't fly. getting me to LA like so I missed almost like I had two days to, you still got to make the team when you get drafted I had two days to make a team over people who's got drafted who's before me the whole time. been there for two weeks vets like I, legends like yeah. <laughs> crazy like people you you was watching like so I had two days to make a team and like that whole moment was just when I made the team and the, the the final roster, like I was like, Oh, okay. Like I was all right, but once I see my jersey and that's when that was the surreal moment. But when I'm on the court, like it's basketball, like you've been playing since nine Same years game. old. Like <laughs> Yeah, you still Same gotta play basketball. Level, so it, it was cool. Like I was like, dang, I took a little snap. I was like, yeah, first WNB game, but that was it. I, yeah, like I that's, feel no different. That's what I meant, like, to be like, all right, like, now I'm, I'm really here. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be like, damn, like, I'm a WNBA player. Like you said, mm -hmm. you're, you're um, seeing your jersey for the first time. That's that like, was, yeah, that was the moment I looked and I was like, it's too big, name. but damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, like, everybody who knows Rella, we, you already know it's, it's coming. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's already gonna happen. Like it's not a sh like when people are like, oh my god, she's killing. It ain't a shock. It's mm -hmm. not like a oh my god, oh my god. She's been doing this in seventh grade. She's growing you know? up watching her. You feel me? We got to see. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> me. I saw you since you was a little kid. Going, we used to go to the boys and girls club when it was just a uh, house on so the highway. Yo, you know what I mean, so they wasn't there. With, you we know was what in I the mean? Trenches, like, for we real. was literally there. Yo, in a basement. Yo, people. <laughs> Like five computers. No, I say with a laptop. No pool tables. No nothing. No Bingo backyard. Night. They came, they came, they came a long way. way. No That's grass. We no. had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we had nothing. No grass. We didn't even have a backyard. We had a side yard. For real, we had the highway. Thanks. That was it. It was my talk. And <laughs> that was it. You know, Nigga play over there. there. <laughs> so definitely to see you for, from us being on the house on the highway to you being in WNBA now. Crazy. Surreal. It's crazy. Throw them boys and girls club parties. Mm -hmm. What? Man. We, we wasn't just being good kids at the beach ball. I can say it now. We over now. <laughs> what? We was turning <laughs> up. Shit. With them old white people. Right? Hey, yo. <laughs> the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the motherfuckers get on that dance floor. It's all wild. Yo, Yo they be drunk. Yo, why, why the lights come on? The motherfuckers be drunk in the motherfuckers. Everybody does spend it all their money. Though. I never had like a bad experience. That's a fact. One, like, you know, never had a bad day at one of the So y'all used stores. to sneak off to the side the set, though. The set up day Who was, was worst, I used like. to eat the food. I used to eat the hors d'oeuvres. Don't forget they used to give you like bags of food. Like when yeah. we was leaving, they used to be like, we're throwing this out. Do you want this? Take this. <laughs> yeah, and, and then it was always a big old house and then it had yeah. like water well, and yeah, stuff. Right by the so water. So you would just, you go sneak the drinks, go walk in, Walk by the water, mosquitoes biting you up. Crazy. Man, we used to have then a we blast. Oh, a smush blast the next day right? was lit. I'm telling you, I couldn't even go. <laughs> you <laughs> missed out. Was you missed out yes. because that wave pool used to be yes. lit. The wave I remember one time I tell a story about Swiss Blast. I was 12 years old. You know the two red slides? <laughs> yeah. You know them two red the slides? Bullet. I didn't even know that. I, 
I, I, I, I couldn't swim. It's right. 12 feet. I couldn't swim. Mm. So, and I'm seeing, I'm looking at a little kid. You know, I'm going, I went on the alien green joint. You know, I'm feeling, yeah. I went down the 80 foot drop, yeah. feeling myself. Facts. I'm on untou- Once I did that, I'm on touch. I'm 12, bro. <laughs> and you know, I'm, you know, yeah. I was big. I know me yeah. when I was 12. I was big and round. <laughs> John, look, 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 look. I, I, I'm walking. We're going to the black rod, the big tube, the mm-hmm. black one now. Yeah. Late in the day. I see all from a side, I see little kids running down that bow, boom, going in there. I ain't even realize they had on life jackets. Some of them. So I'm like, oh, little kids is going on there. It gotta be five feet. Cause every single ride I've been to, <laughs> at, at the end, be I've been stepping feet. off the off the floaty. Boom, yeah. five feet, boom. I'm walk. I bust <laughs> around and jumped up on there on the red joint. Blue. Slid down there. Can't swim, remember? Flew into the water, boom. <laughs> went to go swipe at the ground. My foot went. <laughs> I instantly, <laughs> I instantly, instantly started crying underwater. <laughs> started crying. Next thing you know, I see a lifeguard come down there. Still got his sunglasses on, cause I had my eyes wide open. <laughs> I'm over here trying to put up. I'm over here trying to put two fingers up. Like yo, I don't know what this meant, but I'm drowning. <laughs> yes, nigga, put the man. Yeah, the the lifeguard came, stuffed the uh, red floaty in my in my stomach. And I just came right out the water. <laughs> the dude at the, yeah, the dude at the talking about, come on again, come on again. <laughs> Look at that nigga like I oh, was crazy. Yo, look at this nigga trying to kill me. I said, I said Uncle Phil, we gotta go. We out of here. So come again. Oh shit, not Uncle Phil. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. You, you good to stay for a little bit longer. I'm right? chilling. I, I told you I wanted to gossip. Oh, All right, not only we gotta get she's staying oh. for the interview. You feel me? She's staying for the whole show. It's the yeah. takeover. It's definitely the takeover. <laughs> Shout out to the Rock. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about Russia already, so we're gonna get into the next topic, which Let's is gonna go. be Little Dirk and Little uh, Not Little, Little Dirk and NBA Young Boys beef. That's my favorite. NBA Young Boy? No, Dirk. Oh, I'm about to say. Because they're you on the wrong side, man. man. No, They'll kill you. They'll kill you. I love OTF, Lil yeah. Dirk. Facts. Man, I was Lil on, Dirk. Man. I was with Lil Dirk since 52 bars. Oh, she's a fan. Oh, yes. Yes. oh shit. Nah, I was with Ooh, I was with Dirk. Dirk. Real, boy. I was yeah. with Dirk since I'm on. Y'all know nothing about that. Oh, okay, okay. That's when he had the Listen. dreadlocks. Yeah. Come That's on. the first time. I was <laughs> anthem all that uh-huh. good shit. Come on. Nah, the I'm mop head shit. I'm a fan of Dirk, yeah, yo. Man. See, I mean, you see well, the head. NBA Young Boy, you out the window, man. Hopefully nobody die. That's our. That's the goal in my head, that nobody. Just drop music, beef, whatever. Kill that nigga on the track, man. Somebody drop it. You don't Anybody kill nobody. Slip. We don't Somebody need another Biggie and Tupac situation. Kill him on the track. All our favorite rappers is mm-hmm. like slowly dying. It's yeah. just like starting to get. Yeah, y'all can't take dirt, man. Yeah. No, 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 I'll be hurt. I'll be hurt. I would be hurt. You can't hurt. take dirt. Cause then I'm gonna stop listening to music. Yeah, I'm done. I'm cutting my ears I'm gonna stop listening to the trap. I'm done. Right. God, man. I'm done. Stop listening to the trap. For real. Yeah. So I don't wanna, I don't basically, to people, we hope they come to a resolution. Everybody's calm. Cool. Are the diss tracks good, though? Make sure y'all... Y- 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 I have the Just keep it to the, the music. Are the diss tracks yeah. good? Yeah. What, ha- yeah, what happened to just firing back and yeah. that's it? Yeah. Not firing back with the bullets. Not that. With the, <laughs> with the, with the music. Yeah. All right. Before we get to the next topic, we're going to shout out our sponsors. You feel me? 350 World. Yes, sir. Shout out to my boy, We don't know if you're a Sarge large, but... I need this. That's something for you too. It'll be like your first hey. jersey, yeah. Right? yeah. Nah, I, I needed one boy, of these. John, I needed one of these. Shout out 350 time, World. Man. You see that? You see that? 350. Make sure you head over. 350 world on IG. Merchandise, all of that. 350 ways to get paid. Me man. and John go me? way back. Wait now, back. next topic is Johnson's four uh, four Michigan basketball two? coach Whoa. getting suspended for five games for slapping the Wisconsin coach and being fined forty thousand dollars. Smacking mm. five. That's some bread. See the, the forty thousand. I bread. think is a drag. I thought that was a drag. The too. suspension is fine. Yeah, because you know, but they should never. Well, homeboy should never stop Juwan anyway. Mm. I he tried like he put his on, hands yeah. on him first because yeah. once he tried, once you went to go for a handshake and he's not giving you a handshake, yeah. why are you reaching It could have been, it, it could have yeah. been, you know, go 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 go. But and Juwan did slap the other person. The other <laughs> and, dude, he had the smack so fire like, at him like that though. He like slapped hey. Bush. Yeah, you know. Hey. Exactly. Crazy. Come on, get out of here, boy. What's your take on this one, Arella? <laughs> it was a slap. Hey, I ain't against nothing with Juwan Howard as Jordan fam. 
Um, I know Juwan, Juwan for a long time. He's a great guy. And, you know, it's basketball. That's like, sometimes... right there, man. Yeah, it's, it's basketball. Sometimes emotions get, get, yeah, emotions get really Especially heated. when it's getting, where it was started getting them. good. Sometimes a few people get smacked. And people, Just watch out. people make mistakes. Yeah, like, that's that's why I thought the uh, $40 fine was a little bit too $40. much. Mm-hmm. But no $40. I mean, $40,000. i am sorry. $40,000 fine with yeah. this. Yeah. It's a lot. I was thinking, damn, do they make that much money to pay a $40,000? I think, no. I think, a, um, I think a lot of the get fines, right? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they get bread, but coaches like, that's, get that's, that's, a, that's a punch uh, in your pocket. Yeah. Think, yeah. I think, well, I mean, it's 40000 It's 40000 I think all them fines be addressed. That's a couple of house payments, yeah. car payments, Christmas. So like, ain't, ain't like <laughs> in the NBA, a tech is like mad bread itself. What? I think I NBA tech is like seventy five thousand a month. Yeah, we know you. But baby, we, you we don't got that much. Let me find a V three. I don't care if it's three hundred dollars. That hurt. Right? <laughs> Shit, I don't care if I got a million dollars. For real, it's still hurt. Hurting, especially how we started off. We ain't. We wasn't born rich. Because yeah. I appreciate the dollar. Because I, I said shit. Because I said shit. You gonna take seventy five thousand dollars from me? Facts. Mm hmm. It's crazy. That's why you just always got to keep be smart and just control your emotions Stay as locked, much locked. as you can. Mm-hmm. That's really it. But Come you're on my guy. Especially on the business now at the top right there. Yeah. <laughs> For real, yeah. that's she all high it school. is. You can't just get, get a tech and, and that's it. You can't be nobody. Place. Nah. You can't be nobody in the nah, hallway and fight. Nothing. Oh, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sit your they say no high bench. school. You yeah. get tech up there? What? We talking. Easy. Yeah, and then it messes with your brand too. So like yeah. a lot of people, yeah. they don't know what you want from a can of paint. Make them look and like a you bad know, person. Yeah, they're going to judge you exactly. off of just a 30 Not second click. Not that he touched first though. Right. Yeah, you judge a person off a 30 Black second click. Black man gone you know wild. Right? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you stop. <laughs> Trying to cause another malice <laughs> in the palace. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that. That was crazy. Yeah, the, uh, the documentary, that shit mm-hmm. good as hell. It is. They were trying to slay them boys. Kim Potter, the officer that was charged with uh, shooting Deontay Wright accidentally. The one that was so saying taser, said, taser, taser, taser? Yeah. Just got sentenced to two years. Only two years for killing mm. somebody. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm. That's wicked. That's What's the I girl name from um, City Girls? JT. Or JT. JT. She was saying that I got two years for scamming. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, this lady got two years for killing taking somebody. Life. Taking, Yo, taking you know somebody's what? child. You know what, bro? It's like, you can't even be surprised no more, bro. And that's the thing, like when we get to the point where we're not surprised no more, that's gonna that's yeah, it bad right there. Because we shouldn't be okay with just Well th- we're not okay yeah, with not it. Even not, we can't it's just the like, thing is you we You can't expect we can't more do no anything. More. Yeah. You can't expect Else. more. You can't, you can't even protest. They whip our ass when we do that too. Like she can't so but that's why it's like something like it's like all right all the symbolic things now, it got it, that's not doing nothing. Some it's things need to happen now. That's why I, me personally, I didn't go out to any of the Black Lives Matter movements. Part of because I was working, but like when I was, you know, like when they had it in like Smithtown and stuff, I didn't go because I'm like I'm already past that stage. I don't I don't want to go out there. Black Li- That's all we're gonna do. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Nothing happening after yeah. that. Facts. You it know, only really changes I'm from like, the inside. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, it's yo, a start. It's, there's, I, I it's a start. You want yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. bring start, awareness. You know I mean? Well, it's definitely a start, but it's been since way l- long before. Yeah. This it's ain't a start. It's been started. Now it's like, sure. where where is it? Okay, where, where is the yeah, where's where the gray area? Stop. Where's the fine line in now? It's some is it, real things need to happen mm-hmm. now. I agree. Not just po- holding up a sign and then everybody going home. Like, when Let's go to the next that, day again. Like, where do, when do we get to that? Because I thought, all right, when we get to a black president, that's when we got to that. Clearly, mm-hmm. we got to the black mm-hmm. president and we still, it wasn't. Like, I don't need so a, my I don't, brain, I just, then this stresses me because I man, think, so like, where, when I are love, we going to get to I the point Obama, where we're right. all good? Obama ain't do shit. I love well, Obama. Well, they didn't let him. He, he couldn't huh? do nothing. He, he couldn't do, do anything, yeah. though. They, you know, it's hard. Like when you it, it really, when you're a person yeah. in power, and then you got seventy to a hundred other power, people you know, really, really controlling power. everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You just, just a face. yeah, you're just the right. face of and that's our what I'm nation. Saying. And that's what I'm saying. The he couldn't really do it. Yeah, it was yeah. just it's it's, he it's really like let him why, let him do what everybody knows what's he, right. But when he got elected, they said they wouldn't let him yeah push anything. So 
we already know from when yeah, you it's really it. it's really the we house exactly arrest we got <laughs> and that's why like you know when you see stuff um like voting matters all that stuff really does matter mm-hmm. because these are the people that like it even starts yeah, locally. Yeah, about yeah. To say, especially yeah. locally. I was just about to say, definitely yeah. starts locally Look at, with the judges, the DAs. Yes, that, and, those are the people that are making where, these decisions. I feel like mm-hmm. that's where it really matters. Like yeah. They, yeah. They, they tell you vote for the president and stuff like that. No, it's yeah, controlling the, the controllables around yeah, you. Yeah, like, like exactly. look at, it affects us, but not how, like you said, like the yeah. mayors and the senators and people like that, because that's who the president got to go to before they be like, all right, we're going to put this bill in. But when you got all the senators like, nah, we're not gonna do that now. Yeah, it don't ma- it don't mean nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Like like Zeldin. Zeldin, look, candidate for the New York governor. We uh, I He's know a, we don't talk politics on this show. Yeah. Hey, Zeldin. <laughs> I'm not a politician. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm yeah, saying you know he that, was yeah, I'm not gonna lie. he was he was you know, he was just getting local votes. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was, uh-huh. you know, last couple of years. Now he's about to be a candidate for the New York, New York governor. Yeah. If nobody wants, why was he, you know, you got to vote for somebody different. Mm-hmm. Everybody was voting for Zelda. Actually, nobody was not voting for him. Mm-hmm. Put it like that. And look how far he's gone. Mm-hmm. I mean, you we we seen in this last year what voting can really do. You know yes. what I mean? We voted out of desperation and thinking, oh, Joe Biden is going to be better than Donald Trump. And then look at the year that we've had since we put those votes in to actually get them there. She can't talk mm. about politics. <laughs> she don't have to comment on that. That's from that's from me. Mm. Love, uh, it's not that I can't though. talk about politics. It's just the age of social media. Like I said, they take they it. take they you know, listen to 15 right. seconds instead of the mm-hmm. whole hour you're talking mm-hmm. to. Yeah, no, I don't speak like, on that. Yeah, and then you know words get twisted. But y'all know where my heart is. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm for the people. I'm my talk. president is black. My Lambo blue. Now we're gonna get into <laughs> the next topic. Being at the. Uh, we were just talking about the Kim Potter situation. Good lead on to this topic. The three remaining officers in George Floyd case has been found guilty on violating his civil rights. Nice. And it's about time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what. That's what we need. That's so like that's, that we was need a, a win. Part of yeah, right. Right. we need really a win. Something. That's something. Yeah. That was that's, our. That's the start. Yeah, that's a start. And it's okay. sad that we should mm-hmm. be like saying this is a win because exactly. it really should be the yes. norm. But Seriously. exactly, but it's sad. But we, you know what? We gotta start somewhere. We do. Facts. We gotta start we somewhere. Policing need to be changed. Not saying when I'm not against policing, but get it back does need that. to be changed. Some things do need to be changed. Mm-hmm. So, uh, with that being said, we're gonna switch to the Queen of England has COVID. People, hello, governor. We hope you get better, Queen. <laughs> Pip-pip-tail. We have to throw that in there because we love our <laughs> English people. Well, she's 99 for God's sakes, God damn it. Like, hey, on, Elizabeth. I don't know what she's waiting on. From you. Still huh? pulling. She, she, she must, her job ain't done. My job thing is, if you're 99, you shouldn't be that out there shaking hands, walking the street. I kissing, wouldn't be. Doing that. Kissing well, why, I mean, but why should you stop living your life? Not even... Stop. Okay. I would I, I say, say stop living your life, but stop. I that's a because now slow down. it's a risk. You don't got yeah. at gotta, this point. You don't gotta kiss on me. Is babies. it really a risk? Cause because she done lived her life. It's not really a risk. You just she done lived and seen everything. I mean, unless how you, is it a risk? All right, I guess you can say it. I mean, because it, it's she a, like she probably comfortable. Look, depending she's probably if comfortable, if it's my time, yeah, it's my she, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All okay, right. cause, yeah. okay. I was about to say depending if she like she got to stay alive as long as I can. Yeah, there's some people that's like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but no. she like if I'm 99 oh, I'm comfortable with anything she's talking about so hold my beer hold my beer I'm gonna go shake some hands <laughs> yeah you know that's a baby bring she that baby outside. here let me kiss her why can't she be outside <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we can be outside she, she can't be outside for a very long time yeah queen been outside shaking her ass she was <laughs> shout yeah. to shout out oh, to the queen of England that ass some dust fly out that ass alright we're sending our well wishes to the queen here from the culture crew that's <laughs> <laughs> the next ass. topic we're powder, getting on powder come out I don't know if you guys <laughs> want I don't oh. Know. oh my god Scott <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Uh-uh, <laughs> queen. We're talking about. Keep that shit down. Yes, Sorry, your queen. Highness, yes. Mm. Your finest. These people are just shit out of oh, My he boy said your highness. Oh, yeah. Yo, this you don't take shit seriously. Yo. That boy said she's going to shake that ass. She's going to come out that ass. Ah! Keep no fucking. Yo. Keep 
them tea bags <laughs> closed. Fucking like dust clouds and shit. Jesus. Oh shit. All right. I don't know if y'all watched this. Have y'all oh seen that gosh. Tinder swindler shit on? Nah, uh, I meant Netflix? to watch it, but Yo, I feel like that asleep. boy is Simon a demon. Levi. So what he was doing? He Listen. was basically scamming women. It is he true. Was right? It's true. He was Real telling true. them he was rich, right? Mm-hmm. And a son then, of a billionaire. Then mm. they, yeah, right, right. Broke as hell though. Crazy. Tell him he tell him he's a millionaire. He's buying them all this stuff. Then all of a sudden, there's people after me. I can't use my money. Mm-hmm. Now he has them sending their money, which I'm not gonna lie, y'all was very stupid for doing I'm that. Sorry. I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're not victim shaming either. We're not victim shaming. Listen, because I felt but, I felt really bad for y'all, but you know, they only been with this dude a few months, mind you. Hold on, hold, not even that, brother. If somebody tells you they're the son of a billionaire, what the hell are you asking me money for? Call your yeah. daddy. Call your daddy. He he's, he's taking their money. They're taking out loans. Like one lady, I think she said she had probably like 10, 11 bank loans for big amounts of money and sending Total it all the time. Mind you, he's not coming home. He's yeah. not coming home. This motherfucker is using that money to go trick off on the next girl that he's doing the same scam Smart with. Man. And I ain't gonna lie, yo, listen, pyramid. if I was a if I was a sleeve boy, pyramid scheme? If I was a sleeve boy, <laughs> if I was a sleeve boy, <laughs> it was probably the Ellis. <laughs> It was probably that. You know what it was? I say a hundred to a thousand. Right, right. Definitely that was that thing. You know, you know that. You know that scheme everybody was doing. And you yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I hired a Hollywood uh, agent. Okay. So now Talk he's doing nice. twenty bands of walkthrough. He's trying to get his own reality. He's trying to be. Show. He's trying to be legit now. Hey. After you know. Wrecking a bunch of women lives, you know. In the age of social media, get this there's money certain precautions that you should already know that's exactly. a scam. Don't fall for it. This this right and here. please, them sugar daddies on Instagram, this, don't fall for that. This right here is get a game. Get one in real life. Yes. You know what I mean? All this is right here is a go, game. Go meet a real sultan. This don't, is don't a get game. the one that hits you up. Through, through Instagram talking about he wants you to be his sugar baby. Yes. You're gonna end Thanks. up you're gonna end up a Netflix special. Word. Yeah. I no, will that's watch. sad though. I will watch. It really is. But, like, but shout hey, out to some, some of the people girls. are hustlers. Then that's what they there was one girl that stepped up and helped though. Yeah. She's a real one. So they did a GoFundMe and they actually got back I think it was like two two or three of the girls got back that's great. probably almost all their money. Yeah by right. now. He was fucking with the documentary up. or not. He was, mm, he was that shit happened back. to me though. But <laughs> yeah, I ain't fall for nothing. But that's More great. of the story, don't be a trick. Yeah, stay off of Tinder. Don't be a trick. Oh my gosh, I don't know about that Tinder stuff, so you know. Yeah, I ain't, never had, <laughs> oh, I ain't never had that. I ain't never had that. But all right, y'all yeah. want to get into this next and last topic of the day, people? The last. R. One. Kelly has switched his legal team to Bill Cosby. Oh, 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 oh. He gonna win now. <laughs> I'm not commenting on R. Kelly. <laughs> huh? Kels, listen, yeah. you ain't up, bro. You ain't got to talk about him. It's time for you to sit, think about what you did. Don't do this shit again. I don't even know if you're going to be able to come home. Who the fuck he going to do that? Yeah, exactly. My yeah. boy is in there singing really the Unacceptable. On Unacceptable. Yeah. Yo, right. Kel, damn, Kels, you, you really, yeah, I, be, I feel bad listening yeah. to your music sometimes. I honestly, and anybody in my household can tell you this, I don't listen to his music no more. I don't let nobody come in my house playing his So you don't anymore. listen to Step in the Name of Love? I ask When happy, come, Bobby, happy people come on, you ain't gonna, bar, you so gonna skip it. If I'm at a family barbecue and they play it, what can I do? It's you a backyard yeah. party. Mm-hmm. At my functions, my house, yeah, nah. Listen, I'm I got sorry. Daughter. I'm sorry, man. I yeah. still. I, I mean, still when, it, when it plays, I'd be like, damn. Yeah. Like, hey, that's the thing is, it's hard. Thing, I, I, I like, probably, like, really, it's, it's to be hard. real, no, to be real hard. honest, it's hard because yeah. like, that's, that's most of our childhood. Yeah, like, right. like, I separate. I separate the music. I feel like when you and I hear people say that a lot, but I feel like when you have children, is it's different. You got to have a daughter. I won't show them no video. So you have. A daughter and you seen the shit that he was doing to girls, it's like Yo bro, it was nah, bad. It I was bad. Don't that. get me wrong, bro, it was bad. But that's why I say, you know, I I separate the music from the person. Uh Kelly This is a horrible reference. Uh, Kelly is all right. Robert so Chad Molester was a rapper. 
Mm-hmm. And they're your favorite rapper alive, but you just all found right, out. All they, right, I fucked up. Okay, yeah. Like, all come right, on, we all right. watch what you say. Man. Ain't yeah. no separating. Man. That man touched people. I mean, he got good music. I'll give you, he got good music. Ain't Listen, no separating nothing. All right, look, look, look. Good music. He could be in trouble for that stuff, but all that other new shit that came out with the cult shit, like, man, ain't nobody brainwashing yeah, nah, no nah. bitches. You know, once once somebody says something, it's like a domino effect. Yeah. Now yeah. we all got a story about now, it. Now, because Kells ain't giving you no money, now he had me trapped yeah. in the closet for 10 years. Yes. Hey, that was legendary. Listen, I'm sorry. Cool <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? <laughs> well, I got about 40 episodes. <laughs> yeah. Six chapters. But how do you play about 30 characters? <laughs> I thought it was just that one. Open nah. the closet, Listen, put my beret so That's why I, I said. Lie. I thought that was it. He was talented. But there ain't no separating from I've me. I've done hey, a crazy talent. I feel like all well, the talented I've people. I've done many crazy. trapped in the closet TikToks. I'm not going to lie. This, it makes for great material. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but listen, Kels, you wrong. Listen, we got Bill back. We don't need you. I'm sorry. Nice. Bill made it through. I'm out of here. Sorry, uh-huh. bro. I'm sorry. Cosby ain't going to help you. Nobody's throwing panties at yeah. you no more, sir. I know y'all watching this probably thinking, damn, they were supposed to talk about YNW Melly, but. Uh, He's got murder on his mind. More. Listen, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Uh, yeah, we need bro, more information, really. Bro so. make good music, but that nigga going to jail, man. Yeah, I'm, up, bro. I'm, I'm a little tight in that. I, I like, yeah, I liked his, uh, his music, too. You make good music, bro, but you, you, you fucked all the way up, brother. Yeah. So when his trial starts and we got more information, we'll make sure we get back on Until y'all. then, it's been real. You feel me? Been we want to thank out. our special guest for pulling up. Let everybody know where they can follow you if they ain't following you already. Um, my Google. my Insta- yeah, just Google, Google Arella <laughs> Garantes. That's but, uh, what you doing, yeah, 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 my Google. Instagram is Arella Corinne. Well, Arella underscore Corinne, and then everything else. Honestly, just got my first name. What you been saying, Karen? Karen? Y'all was calling me a Karen. No, I wasn't calling you a Karen. I wasn't calling you a Karen. That's a that's an Ian. That's an Ian. You should have got it. Karen. That was pronouncing the Karen. I don't that's know crazy. why my mama put that middle name. <laughs> Well, we Karen definitely appreciate Misty. you for pulling up your first blue check we got up here. But you're not just a blue check for us, though. Bro, I hope I'm first not. blue check. Man, you're a friend. To the show, you feel you're, right? a, you're an inspiration to the hood. Definitely. To Long Island. Because I know dudes that are running to. You from Belleville, right? Yeah, you know, Rel- yo, she nice. Facts. <laughs> yeah, bro. I know. She well, now you I see. I call her right now to cook you. We know her, know her. We grew up with her. Facts. Like, Family. Yeah. Also want to shout out to 350 World. You see yes, some boys out the man. merch, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Check right. out 350 World. Feel me, and everything else is on there. The mm-hmm. detailing is impeccable. Facts. All right, people. This has been another great episode of the Culture Crew. It's been culture, real. You feel me? For real. Just, yes, just, sir. We yeah. just need that just for us. For elevating. Da da da. Don't forget Da-da-da. to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. The Modern Day Breakfast Club. You feel right. so Thank you. Call it. And make sure you follow the Long Island Breakfast man. Club. The Long Island no, Bagel. We we'll see you next episode. Bacon, egg, cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup. Salt, pepper, ketchup. <laughs>